Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Scorekeepers Podcast, where we're always keeping the score. I am one of your hosts, Robert. To the left of me, we have my man, Stats and Research. How's it going? Also, from parts of the unknown, we have my guy, Khalil. What up? And last but not least, to the right of me, my man, the man whose team is still uh, playoff bound, we got Clayton. Howdy. What's up, guys? What's up, people? We had a nice night on, what day? Friday. Friday. Yeah, that was a good time. I enjoyed myself. Khalil, woman, right in your wheelhouse. Curly you hair. always are. I know. I tried. I was, I was in the line at the bathroom. I, was, I texted him. So there's a name with a drink on it. And he goes, water? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but I tried. I really, gave it, I really gave it a good effort trying to get Khalil to come out, but he didn't want to come out. Um, but nothing really happened that night, right? No, no just nothing crazy. I mean, the bouncers threw two people out. Who was the second one? No, you missed the first one. The yeah, I think you were in the was... bathroom. Homeboy. Oh. oh, he was in the bathroom. Were yeah. you even there? Yeah. He was in the bathroom. Some dude took the seat where you were standing in front of, and homie oh, went yeah, straight to sleep. Yeah. Slumped. Oh, you told me that, but you didn't tell me that he kicked him out. Yeah, they kicked no, him out. It was like 11 out. o'clock. They told I was you trying gotta beat to it. fight it, too. He was kind of like, no, nah, no. Nah, they I, gave him one the, chance. The, the old Dale Beckham. Oh, oh yeah. Like, no, nah, I'm good. But you know, they're like, no, nah, but you got to go. Got to go. That's to go. Uh, but no, I only saw that one guy, uh, the the African American fellow. That yeah, yeah no, he, it's okay. That's what he was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're worried about. I, I'm just you know want to make it you know good. It is Martin Luther King Day tomorrow or while today they're listening to this, while yeah. they're listening to this? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, That's, uh, get your paws off me. Yeah. Um. Speaking of Martin Luther King Day, you know, Joey Boza he lost. Uh, <laughs> but we'll, we'll get into the Niners. We'll get into the Niners first. Uh, the Niners beat the Seahawks forty-one to twenty-three. This game was close uh, going into halftime. The Seahawks actually had a one-point lead going into halftime, but in the fourth quarter, the 49ers put up eighteen points and completely blew them out. Brock Purdy, three hundred and thirty-two yards, three touchdowns. Christian McCaffrey, fifteen carries for one hundred and nineteen yards. Debo Samuel, six receptions, one hundred and thirty-three yards, and one touchdown. Geno. Smith, 253 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. DK Metcalf, 10 receptions, 136 yards, and two touchdowns. The biggest thing coming out of this game, Brock Purdy. It's it's living living the dream. Do you honestly think that with the way Brock Purdy is playing right now that the 49ers can win the Super Bowl? If he keeps playing like this, yeah, Mm -hmm. their defense is is pretty pretty damn good. I agree. But on top of that, I do want the the double-edged sword. Brock Purdy's playing great in a great system. Brock Purdy's a, a, a baller, right? Jalen Hurts. It's the system. Just want to get my shit off real quick because that's fucking ridiculous. I have to hear everybody on the fucking national media say that Brock Purdy is now going to lead. Brock Purdy is going to lead the Niners to a Super Bowl himself. Not the system. Not all the great players that he has. Not the number one defense. You know, not all the gadget players he has in the backfield. No, it's Brock Purdy. I'm over him. I needed to stop. Soon. Like, tomorrow. You're, I'm over it. You're going to get an angry phone call tomorrow. <laughs> From who? Uh, Dion. Why? Why? Because Brock Purdy is a top five quarterback in the NFL. Dion. <sighs> so he, told, he tried to tell me today that he was, uh, he's better than Geno Smith. To, uh, and after last after Saturday night's performance, he's trying to tell me he's, he's right there with Justin Herbert. When do you guys talk to this guy? He does. Because he needs to fucking come on the pod and doubt. No, all his no, shit. no, he does not. All he his can, stupid he can, fucking no, hot takes. No, he could stay over there. But, um, what? I just want to say, you know, he is playing well, and I think that is true, but I just want to let people know, it's only been like six starts. Like, there's not a lot of tape out there on him. Like, he came out of nowhere. He was a third string. That's one, two. He's probably playing on, like, the best, like, probably full team in the NFL in the sense where, like, Anybody could be the quarterback of that team. All you have to literally do is throw the ball five yards. That's literally what my brother said, who was a 49ers fan. You just literally have to be able to throw the ball five yards. And you could do anything. Anybody. I mean, let's be honest. They looked, at, they looked just as good with Jimmy Garoppolo was there before he got hurt. I thought so, too. The only person who looked bad with the team was Trey Lance. Well, you know what? You know what sucks? Well, Trey Lance didn't look very good. He didn't look good anyway. No, yeah. he didn't. Um, what, what sucks is that, that the Niners, uh, they, since they won, they have to, and the Giants beat the Vikings, we'll get there. Um, they get to play the winner of the Cowboys versus the Bucks. If the Bucks somehow make a like a like an extreme upset, I guess, uh, then at that point we will 
The Alabama Jesus. player. Jesus! Oh my God! Let me read that again. Yeah, the Alabama player. Did you just get that? Yeah. I've heard. I heard about that like two hours. What the fuck? Capital murder? Yeah, which means he's facing the death penalty. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if the Bucks make an upset. Then the Niners are gonna roll right into the NFC Championship game, like very easily. I mean, wait, you I, think the Cowboys will give them more problems? I think the Cowboys will give them more problems. Are you sure about I that? that? I don't, I don't agree with that. Did the Cowboys and the Bucks, or did the Cowboys and the Niners play this year? No, I don't. No, they I didn't. Don't think so, but no, I think the you guy do realize Dak Prescott leads the league in interceptions, playing five less games than everyone else against the number one defense. I'm aware. Okay. I'm aware. I, dude, you're listening. You're talking to number one Cowboy hater. I just so, think that. So, I don't think the Bucks have it in them. And by the way, the Cowboys defense has not been spectacular over the last, like, probably five, five six weeks. weeks. Yeah, five weeks, something like that. So, but hypothetically, how would they, like, how, how would that happen? What? Like, how would, the, how would the Cowboys beat the 49ers? Just better talent. You I think, think so. I you think, you so. think the Cowboys are more talented than the 49ers? Oh, no, no. I'm saying, like, they have the talent to at least somewhat match up against it. The Seahawks don't have it. The Bucks no, no. surely don't have I mean, it. They don't have it besides now. the They're greatest not. quarterback of all time, but he's forty two. He's actually forty five. Forty five. So Yeah, I didn't realize he was I thought he was like forty two, like you thought. I didn't then he's pushing fifty. They yeah, that, get him up that out shit's of there. insane. Um anything coming out of that game? We're good with that. Do uh, you have anything to say? Yeah, Brock Purdy's the greatest quarterback of all time. Wait, y'all have y'all have the Cowboys beating the Bucks in the first place? I'm saying if I guess we talked about we it. We talked. No, I, I, I still I still chose I, the Bucks. I understand that, and I'm just trying to take a poll to see. I'm trying to keep track because I want to know who I'm gonna have a conversation with when Tom Brady does beat the Cowboys. <laughs> oh, stop it! Oh, stop! Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll call you, you right after. You get think out of here. That bizarre. Okay. Did have you, you seen the Bucks this year? Have you seen Have you seen Dak Prescott this, this year? year? Yeah. I don't. They don't need Dak Prescott they had to, to pull do him anything. in the last game of the season because he was playing like dog shit. Just run the ball. That's it. They can't do. They can't stop the run anyway. Bottom five. In the league. Um, we'll go move on to the next game that happened Saturday night. The greatest fucking playoff game of all time. The Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Chargers 31-30. to Trevor Lawrence having four interceptions in the first half. Uh, ended up having 288 yards with four touchdowns along with that. Travis Etienne, 20 carries, 109 yards. Evan Ingram, seven receptions, 93 yards and a touchdown. Meanwhile, Justin Herbert had 273 yards and one touchdown. And Charger tight end Gerald Everett had six receptions for 109 yards and one touchdown. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I fell asleep because I was fucking deadbeat tired yesterday. So I fell asleep. I didn't even finish watching this game. But all I saw the next day was that uh, Brandon, it, it was Brandon Staley's fault for the way that the Chargers like just crumbled themselves and that Dougie P rallied the troops and everything like that. Does anyone want to tell me what truly happened or is that what happened? Yeah. I'm okay. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. You should never ask. What happened is Justin Herbert is who I thought he He didn't was. throw an interception. He's a loser. Oh, my God. He lost to a quarterback who threw four interceptions. He is the only quarterback in NFL history, the 100 years of the NFL. He is the only one to lose a game with a plus five or more turnover margin. I mean, but he dude, just finds new ways to lose. But the other dude doesn't lose on Saturdays. So like, you know, we talk about some guys, you know, you hear some guys, man, you know what, didn't play his best, but you know what, he somehow found a way to win. Trevor Lawrence, didn't play his best, somehow found a way to win. Dougie P, baby. That, you know, oh, now you're going to dap me up. Now I'm you're gonna, gonna dab me over Dougie P. I'm not gonna that's lie. That's fucking crazy. Wait, did you see? That's you did, crazy. You didn't see the four? Did you see the fourth and one call? Oh no, I did. Yeah, that's why. Oh, like that was, it, was like, it was like the halfback sweep off to the right side. Oh, I that was a great yeah. call. I'm not gonna lie though. I was a little nervous. He looked. He looked like he's about to do some Dougie P in the first half when he went mm. for that for a fourth on a fourth down to so kicking that field goal. Where where's this fucking thing? Hold but on. I'm not gonna lie. He did that that fourth down play. I was like, all right, I'm leaving him. Did he turn you into a fan? He turned me into a believer. I'm leaving him alone. That's crazy. It was look that, how far we come. If he can't look, if you can, if you can do that, and look and how you know, far you know we how, have come. You know I don't like Brandon Stanley. You know I hate him. Doug Peterson now has as many playoff wins as Jeff Fisher, Marty Schottenheimer, John Gruden, has a Super Bowl ring and one of the most improbable comebacks in NFL history. He's been a head coach for six years. 
I mean, that's I mean, a resume. Look, I give it to you. You got it. You got it. All right. I have nothing bad to say Shout about Shout out Dougie. to Dougie P. I have no nothing bad. Proud to say. of him. Congratulations, Doug. Proud of him. Um, but we were actually talking about. I mean, I don't think they have a fucking shot in the dark against the Chiefs. But the way that we've seen the wild card play this this uh this last week, anything is possible. But I don't see the the Jags having a shot in the dark against the Chiefs. But I will say this: we were actually making fun of the Chief, uh the Jaguars earlier in the season. You know, signing Christian Kirk to that unnecessary deal. Uh, he broke every incentive the first season, like, you know, for a player. And then signing Evan Ingram, who's been on and off, on and off, on and off. Off. Just off. He was on yesterday. I, I meant on the field, period. Like, because he's always injured. Just off. <laughs> wow. And then he actually came into his own. Um, Zay this Jones. Season. Yeah, Zay Jones. Just Oh, and also, I totally forgot. I, someone tweeted it. They get Calvin Ridley next year, too, after his suspension. Back Which in is healthy. Back in healthy, fully yeah, healthy. Are you sure he's going to play? Why wouldn't he Why play? Why don't you think he's going to play? Why wouldn't he, he play? He has a lot of reasons to play. The, yeah. the checks, the checks why don't come in. Why he wouldn't play? He hungry. You don't remember why he's why he's stopped playing in the first place? Betting games. Mental, no. Mental. Mental, Ill, mental illness. Oh. Well, yeah, but he he was going to come back. He, I think he did. I, I, yeah. I think he'll play. I mean, let's I be honest. Think. Let's be honest. The it's team, a new, it's the a team new was kind of trash, too. I mean, I would have sat out, too, if, my head was, you know, if I was in the right mind. Oh, you mean the Ben Simmons route? Yeah. He back though. Mm, he back yeah, though. He yeah, back though. Yeah. yeah. How back is he? He back though. No, he ain't. He's, um, that's hate. Uh, hate but if they do get Calvin Ridley back, I think the Jaguars can do something nice over there. Get you know a couple. They have they have enough uh, cap space to do another kind of decent splash in the upcoming free agency. And I, they always pretty draft. They draft decently. I'm not gonna say they're the greatest drafters. They draft. They just can't keep their players. That that's is usually true. their problem. But now I think that they will. I really do think that something nice is happening in Jacksonville. And they I mean, have a with quarterback the quarterback who finds a way to win games. With Blake Borders there, <laughs> with Blake Borders there, you saw how how you kind of saw the writing on the wall with that one. I didn't think. You, I mean, I feel like we all kind of saw that that wasn't going to go anywhere. What Blake Borders? Yeah, I think yeah, that was no, again another here, another yeah. another thing of great defense. Almost beat the Patriots, by the way. They could after that uh, controversial fumble call. Um, they did almost beat the Patriots. They, they almost went to the Super Bowl. That. Yeah, they, well, it was the AFC Championship game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's it for that game. Khalil, you have anything you have to say with that game or no? What game were you even talking about? <laughs> the the Jags Chargers. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Justin Here we Herbert. Go. That's it. That's it. No, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, the I, next. I, I was asked. I was asked while they, when they were winning. I was. I was requested. Did you watch it one Monday? No, no, uh, no, no. Did you watch but, the but Giant game on Monday? Me. No, no. I was driving then. I told you Rough. that. I just want to say that, that somebody did ask me because they did call me when it was like a blowout game. They said we needed to have the uh, the Tua Herbert conversation. So, who was that? Was it Dion again? It was Dion. And Monday, okay. Monday was there too. He was, he was a, he was champion that too. Uh, next game we have that happened this afternoon. The Bills beat the Dolphins 34-31. to 31. Mm-hmm. Josh, Al- does he still want to have that conversation? No, we're not going to have the conversation. I'm, I'm asking if he personally still wants it. Well, you want to, we'll do, we can do an episode where we call him up. In like no, the I'm just there. asking. There's no conversation to be had. He's a loser, Oh, well, but, you know, I'm okay. just saying. All right. Did you leave the boy alone? By the way, by the way, I believe that loss takes him under 500 again for his career. That, they only count that for regular season. Then he's 500. Okay. Still a loser. Josh Allen uh, had 352 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Stephon Diggs, seven receptions, 114 yards. Skylar Thompson had 220 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. And no Dolphin skill player coughed, uh, crossed the 100-yard threshold. Um, the Bills did everything to lose this fucking game. They like, a- everything. They tried. And, uh, yeah, everything under the sun to they lose this game. A, they gave it a well, good Josh effort. Allen tried. Yeah. Two interceptions and a fumble inside the five. That's not very great. But after watching this game, I don't think the Buffalo Bills are going to go to the Super Bowl. I don't think so either. No, this was a rough outing at home. And I thought, I personally thought, was Hamlin there? No. No, no. he was at home. He's on, uh, he, he was at the facility at uh, either on like Saturday or Friday. Yeah, or he's like still, that. I think he's still he's on, on oxygen. Though, so. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, the, the Tony Sperano's, the field goals, baby. The the fist pump field goals? What? Oh, you were talking about it here, and then all of a sudden you can't talk about it anymore. Well, I, I was saying. Oh, well. He doesn't like that. He hates it. Well, Jason Sanders. Yeah, you know what this means? 
<laughs> you know, you know what this game means. You know what this game really means. What they played good enough that everybody can come back next year for the most part. So why is that a problem? That means everybody's coming back next Not year. Not really. That doesn't mean anything at all. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. They all you got to keep is all you got to keep is your offense and sign people on defense. I guarantee you. I, well, I'm not saying everybody on defense come back, but I'm telling you, people that I thought were going to be gone for sure. I mean, like some people, they're obviously gone. Like Byron Jones, he's, he's never coming back. They'll, they'll never bring that guy back. Come on, get out of here. But like, you know, they played good enough. Josh Boyer, he'll probably be back because he can say, I had a playoff game where I made Josh Allen look bad. Not a lot of people can say that. No, nobody really can say that. No, that was his worst playoff yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's something on the resume. It's hard, hard to find somebody after that. And then Jason Sanders. For whatever reason, when my offense is good, Jason Sanders can't make field goals. When my offense sucks, all of a sudden, you know, he's he's AJ, he's Justin Tucker Jr. Like I don't I don't get it. You put up thirty one. What? That's the decent. They only put, put up, up thirty one because the defense gave them the ball. Well, twenty four is good enough. And then one of their touchdowns was literally an eighteen yard drive. And low key, they got lucky. Why? I mean, you're getting the turnovers. It's a part of the game. Do you want to no, just have yeah, a win? But, but, you want to have an offense that never gets the ball back after turnovers? No, but I mean, let's but let's be honest. Like their offense was god awful to watch. That's that's like it, it wasn't as bad as last week because they actually did like score a touchdown. But it was pretty. It scored like a touchdown or two, but it was really bad to watch. Like that game was not an easy game to watch. Like Jalen Jalen Waddle, I love you. You know, you're you're my number one wide receiver with Tyreek. You know, one and one a with them. But man, come on, man! He was dropping some. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. He had some catches. He only that he had usually... one drop. Nah, even the one that got broken up, he kind of caught it. I think he could have. Usually, he would clutch that in. I, I'm still counting that as a drop. To me, if the ball's legitimately in your hands, you can bring it down, and then you kind of let it go. DB punched it out. It wasn't even the heart of a punch. It was just a little like he put his hand up. He could have caught that. That that second one he could have caught, and the first one, the first one was definitely egregious. But the first I one mean, was nasty. Yeah, but I mean, look. Granted, the team was Mike like... Mike Gesicki had a gross one, too. That, that seam route, that was a dime. Yeah, and but you know what wasn't? Let go of the gritty, Mike. It's not working. It wasn't working before, and don't think just because it's a big game, you can bring it back. But it's fine, Mike. You probably won't even be on the team next year, so it's fine. Somebody had to See, go. See, there's another thing. You guys might get an upgrade at tight end. It's not really an upgrade. No, he'll probably be like just like a fucking tight end. Yeah, they're not going to, like, Durham Smythe. It's just more Durham Smythe. Yeah. Just more like, Durham Smythe. That's really all that is. That's all they're going to do. They're just going to play more blocking tight ends and, like, Hunter Long. Let's see how that goes. All right. I, well, I didn't have – did you listen to the podcast last week or no? Be honest. I don't listen to any episodes of this podcast. Like, why would I, I'm you here. I don't – I, I told, I guess I told Marketing. Him, I said, why would he – Marketing. I said, why would you say that? Anyways, last week I asked these two. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> I know what we said. Why I got? We listen. weren't here last Friday. Anyways, regardless of the point, if it makes you feel better, I didn't listen to any podcast last week. Anyways, <laughs> these two I guess guys it didn't make him feel better. No, it didn't. I asked these two guys um last week, uh, because of Tua's concussion injuries and stuff like that. There's multiple quarterbacks that are probably free agents or at least quote unquote available. There's only one I would take. Hold on. I let me give the whole question. Okay. There's Tom Brady, there's Aaron Rodgers, there, we, there was a Jimmy G discussion. Aaron Rodgers won't be available. And then uh, Lamar Jackson, quote-unquote available. And, um, Aaron Rodgers won't be available. It's not possible. Why? He's like a $50 million cap hit. The Green Bay Packers aren't taking that. That's what I'm saying. No, like they, can't trade. they can't trade him. Oh, they can't trade. Okay, so take those three back. So those three. <laughs> Okay. Just say Tom Brady. Yeah. Um, but uh, would you take any of those quarterbacks over to with his health history and recently? I mean, because we were, I, Khalil earlier in the season said, you know, this was to his last rodeo. If he was doing great, if he was doing bad, he was doing great when he was on the field, but he hasn't been on the field. So how do you, where do you go from here in terms of that? You still riding out with Tua next year? And is that his last season? Or would you rather take any of these guys? I'm keeping Tua, but there's only one other quarterback in the NFL I would take over him. Okay. Lamar Jackson. But how would you keep Tua out of that? You, you, would you trade the farm for him? I'm, for if, Lamar Jackson? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm just asking. I just don't see how that would work out without trading Tua. I'm not keeping both. I'm you said keep him. Tua. I you said, just said that. I no. would keep him. Oh, but, but which one would you do? Which one? Would you rather have Lamar or would you rather have Tua? That's I'd rather have Lamar Jackson. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that's, like, that's the, the 2012 Kaepernick offense, but with Michael Jordan. <laughs> instead, of, instead of 
Like Paul Pierce. <laughs> All right, that no, that was the, that was a genuine question because uh, we also discussed and we said it earlier. They signed Roquan Smith. They're still not giving Lamar his money, so they're probably going to franchise. It's low key, why he's not playing? Probably going to franchise probably. tag him, and then there's going to be a a, a contract issue and extension and all that bullshit. Hold out. Hold out, shit like that. So I just wanted to know. So there goes that. Uh, the next game on the docket, we have the Giants beating the Vikings 31-24. to You going to play the sound? You going to play the sound? I'm aware. Are you going to play the sound, though? Oh, you didn't put, you didn't put it in? Oh, okay. Ah, ah, got it, got it. Uh, Vanilla Vic had 301 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, who the fuck? Oh, Isaiah Hodgins, my bad. Uh, eight receptions, 105 yards, one touchdown. Kirk Cousins, 273 yards, two touchdowns. And TJ Hawkinson had 10 receptions for 129 yards. I think we all agree here besides Robert that Minnesota was a masquerade 8-19 and 19 this season, right? Khalil, would you agree with that? I, I've been saying, saying that, that yeah. for years with Kirk Cousins. Did you, I know s- who he is. Did you see the end of the game? Uh, how, uh, how? No, I was actually getting in a car. Oh, okay. Here. So it was fourth and five, fourth and eight? Fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fourth and eight with a minute 52 left. Last shot. How far do you think Kirk Cousins threw the ball? You said fourth and eight? Yeah. He threw it seven yards. He threw it three and a half yards on a check down uh, out route to TJ Hawkinson. No, no, not that. Oh, no, but that's it's about to. It. That's you'll, not it. No, it's not. But you'll that's definitely not it you'll, you'll, see it. you'll definitely see it though. But yeah, he threw like an out route, three and a half yard out route to TJ Hawkinson, and the I guess the corner or whatever that was playing him just came up and knocked him out of the ball, or knocked uh, TJ Hawkinson down. Kirk Cousins, my guy, how you doing over there? Didn't like you. Why? Why didn't you like it? What was wrong with his performance today? Oh, I don't think he had a bad performance. He didn't turn over the ball. Nah, but he threw it three and a half yards before the stick. I mean, that's like, I don't know why he had like a, I don't know if he switched bodies with like Derek Carr on that play, but I mean. Mm. That was honestly the most Kirk Cousins thing we, I have ever seen no, in my he, entire life. No, he would like. Throw it up no, no. No, checking down no. is like Derek Carr. That's a Derek Carr move. Derek Carr no. is the king of the check downs. Nobody checks down the, the ball more than Derek Carr. He get, he's scared of pressure. Oh, uh, with that, I want to also ask this. Brian Dabble. Um, Dable. Dable, sorry. Dable. Turning Daniel Jones into something the last, you know, this past season. Josh Allen taking a little, I guess, of a step back. Obviously not having um, the better performance than he did last year. Mm. I feel like last year he had a better performance throughout the entire season. But now we see Dan- Daniel Jones popping off, kind of. So are we crediting all this to Brian uh, Dable, Dabble leaving? He actually has. He's had the same kind of year. The only difference is the throws that he was making last year were not getting intercepted. They're getting intercepted now. Oh, you mean Josh Allen? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's doing the same thing. It's just, you know, when you play reckless like that, sometimes, hey, they don't get interceptions. Sometimes they do. Understood. But nothing coming out of that game either? Nothing? We're good? I mean... The, Vi- uh, the Giants, like I said, are playing the Eagles this coming Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I mean... They, yeah, they do play. Yeah. I mean, Nothing. I mean, good for the Giants. I mean, they got a playoff win. I mean, they. Let's be honest. The last First couple, playoff win since 2011. Since Eli. That's so a long been, fucking a time. But that's a decade ago. That's fucking. Yeah, you know, Dale couldn't get him a win. Really? Yeah. They they popped up when Wasn't Kirk Cousins Super, made that three and a half yard throw. Super Bowl. Huh? Yeah. That's when they won. That's the second time that wow. they won with that's the crazy. Mario Manningham catch yes, on the yes, sideline. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Crazy. So yeah, shout out to shout out to them. Like they had a um they had a rough couple like what decade. Mm-hmm. They started off slow this season. Oh, no. They started, no, they off, started hot, off hot. Then, then got slow. slow yeah. And then they picked it back up. They're about to go on their three stri- third straight road game, by the way, by playing the Eagles in Philadelphia. I mean, the, 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 the road will probably end here. But, I mean, good. I mean, for a first-year coach, that's not bad, especially what he took under. And they look like, for the most part, they're on the, the up. So, All right. not bad. All, for, for the most part, except really, I mean, even maybe even the Chargers, everybody that lost this weekend, um, I mean, you can kind of be like, you can expect them to maybe take a step forward possibly next year. A lot of the teams have a lot of like young talent. So, ooh, that's rough. But yeah, a lot, a lot of the teams have a lot of young talent, like the Seahawks. I mean, we'll see what they do with, um, going forward, but they have, they have a lot of assets. Um, and they, they should be able to do some things. The Dolphins should be fine. The Chargers, I guess we'll see how Sean Payton handles them. No, they're supposedly not interested in him. 
they're not interested in him. I saw that. Before. Who are they interested in? I don't know, but supposedly they don't want. They're him. too good for. They're too good for Sean Payton. Apparently. Hold on, I need to find. You guys need to talk about something because I need to find. That's your. Okay, are you that. concerned with the uh, the Giants because they played you close and they didn't play anybody? Absolutely. 17. Um, I feel like I feel like they kept it vanilla. Um, for the most part in that game coming back because I don't know if you heard when um. Jalen Hurts, like, they had an off day Monday, but Jalen Hurts called. Oh, I found it, by the way. Jalen Hurts called Nick Sirianni and was like, no, we got to go over film for the upcoming week because what we did last week was atrocious. So I personally think they just kind of kept the vanilla. I'm hoping that's what it was because they were playing a, a Giants team that didn't have all their players on it. And I think with Jalen Hurts having somewhat two weeks extra rest and Lane Johnson, apparently he's feeling great. I t- said it before the pod. It's Lane Johnson. Like, Lane Johnson goes out, Kayvon Thibodeau is feasting, feasting on, on that offensive line. It's like, it's like uh, Teron Armstead. He makes that offensive line. Mm. When he's not there, it's not great. I like Jordan Maialata, Jason Kelsey, best center in the league, first team all pro. Uh, but, I, I mean, you can only do so much on your blind side. Or, no, it's Jordan Maialata is on his blind side, not Lane Johnson. But you could argue he's, like, the best tackle in the league. First team All Pro again as well, uh, but Lane I found Johnson? this. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely the best right tackle. Um, <laughs> I got the I got the tweet right here. Chargers spoke to Andy Reid before hiring hiring Mike McCoy. The Chargers spoke to Sean McDermott before hiring Anthony Lynn. The Chargers spoke with Brian Dable, Dable, be- Dable before hiring Brandon Saley. Maybe they should stop speaking. <laughs> Uh, they really so they're they're running it back with him. That boy getting fired. Get this out of here. Second year in a row they've had like a playoff loss and he like his hands are all over it. They've had like a bad like play like come on. Like I mean last year was Brandon, like Brandon Saley is going to be in in Bangkok Thailand or wherever the fuck Cliff Kingsbury Kingsbury is right Yo, now. What if, what if they like offer Cliff Kingsbury the job he like hops on a plane? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, would you would you consider uh Brian coach of the year? Brian Dable, yeah, it's probably gonna go. I'd give it to Mike Tomlin, but he should get consideration. I would have called Tomlin. Oh, because everybody thinks he did like a great job considering the, the roster he had. A lot of people think that. I guess it's Mike not Tomlin going is, to Mike Tomlin. I don't think he'll go. To people Tomlin. love people. I don't love think Mike I don't think I'll go to Mike Tomlin. He's in the finals. I'll probably, I'll probably go to him. Sirianni. Why? Oh, because he only lost like two games. I guess. But Dable should get consideration. I mean, to be honest, he like like I said, he took over like a pretty like shit show, and he made he turned Daniel Jones. Everybody thought he was a bust. He at least turned him into like a salvageable starting quarterback. How far he can go with him, we'll see. Especially once you have to pay him. But yeah. give him credit. Resurrected Saquon Barkley in a sense. I think it was just because Saquon stayed healthy. Let's be honest here. Yeah, but he I mean, was doing this was, before. Wasn't before doing it with the other dudes. So well, that was because he was injured all the all the time. That's because they didn't have a quarterback that could throw. People thought Huntley was like, I remember last year, he had like a decent like game Monday night game or something. People were like, oh, you know, like you might not be that. You might be like a little like Lamar Jr. You know, it might not be bad. And like now it's like nobody has any faith. You can't in him. throw. There's no one to throw to as well. You rather have him or Malik Willis. He can't throw either. At least Malik Willis is younger. That makes it better. Yeah. At least you can try and fix him. I don't know that Malik Willis is actually younger. He's been in the league left. <laughs> Touche. That boy Peter. Touche. Stenson Bed syndrome. Because Malik Willis, Malik Willis, wasn't he? He was supposed to come out the year before. He might be like 24. Mm-hmm. I think he played, he probably played like five, five years in college. So he's his oldest college I Thompson. Think. Something like that. He's, I'm, I don't think Malik Willis is young. Nah, he's, he's not that young. Um, there's something. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Because that's an episode. I ha- oh, you know what we could have talked about? I just remembered now. Uh, yes. My all star team that I, my starting five. Why do you want, what, okay. No, for NBA. Oh, do you okay. Want to tell the people. What yeah, yeah, I was going to go over it. I'm trying to find the photo right now. That's why, that's why I'm kind of. Oh, scrolling. I could have found it. It takes two fucking seconds, yeah, bro. Yeah, but I can't find it on my, on my Mac. Oh, uh, this is great podcast, and we're having a great day. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the third interception you've thrown. Wait, tonight? Yeah. You started off pretty poor. Oh, I, th- oh, I thought you were talking. Uh, <laughs> All right, I got it. I got it. You know, this, I edit, however, like, nobody would know. This isn't, like, live. 
Is it, but you're just making more work for yourself. That's Who really cares? Easy. I don't work tomorrow. Fine. <laughs> for, all right. So I guess there is like a discrepancy on terms of all star uh, in terms of all star starters that Robert picked in the chat for the East. He had Giannis, Jason Tatum, KD, Donovan Mitchell, Kyrie. There wasn't much in uh, discussion with that. I don't have a problem with that. No. But in the West, this was what the discussion held. They got LeBron, Jokic, Ja, Luka, and Zion. With Zion being the discrepancy, uh, and both Brandon and Monday said that it should have gone to Laurie Markkinen, which is crazy to hear. That Laurie Markin and being an all star starter. Like I'm not that saying he doesn't play well, or like just the, the fact that Laurie Markin, Markin is an all star starter. I mean, that's, Andrew that's... Wiggins was an all star starter last year. Yeah. I don't think anybody would have saw that coming. Was he really? He started yeah. all star. He started the all star. Oh, I didn't remember that. So um, it happens. I, I just, it's, it's shocking to me. If you want to go over the, do you want to go over the stats or do you just. I don't care what the stats are. Zion Williams. I'm, Zion, just, Zion, I'm just asking to give it to more context. Uh, I will not be rewarding people who hasn't he played. Hasn't he played most of the season? He's played more than previously. He's played yeah. more than previously. He's played more than Anthony Davis, who with street clothes could. Shouldn't that count for something? Court. No, you perennially can't stay healthy. You can show up to the NBA fashion show. Okay, question: <laughs> If you if you had to choose. Let's say fine. Like, you can't do nothing about Zion because probably low key will probably get enough fan votes and player votes to get in. It, and probably this guy's too. But if it was like between LeBron and Lloyd Marketing, who would you have starting if it was up to you? LeBron. 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 Okay. Just making He just hasn't asking. missed games and he's been phenomenal. Yeah. Okay. Having the greatest 38 year old season I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, Zion, 26 points, seven rebounds, four, uh, four assists. How many games played, though? It doesn't say here. You Fine. can look up. Yes, that's just be a, just say. It's GS. There. You just might have to twenty nine. How well, many does Laurie March? Twenty nine. Uh, Laurie. I think we're at what forty two. Most teams have played forty two. Forty two. Forty three. Forty four. Yeah, forty two. And Laurie has played. So he's played about sixty percent of the season. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Laurie, on the other hand, has twenty four point six points, eight point six rebounds with one assist, and fifty two games played. Fifty two percent from the field as well. How many games played? Sixty point eight percent from the field though for Zion. Yeah, Larry Markinen plays more perimeter. Zion is like two feet. From how many, no, team, how many games does Larry Markinen play, please? Forty four. Forty two. Forty two of them. No, oh, he missed last night. Okay. So well actually, yeah, he's about to miss a couple because he's questionable for Monday's matchup with a hip. Yeah, he has a hip injury. Yeah. yeah okay, well, you know, he's played ninety percent of the game. <laughs> I'm not, putting, I'm not putting Laurie Mar- Okay, no disrespect to him, but I'm not putting Laurie Marketing in the starting lineup for the All-Star game. You're like just a time. hater. That's not being a hater. He yeah, can come off the bench. You're just hating. He ain't balling that good. They're like Zion the se- probably they're the won't even play. I'm that, sorry. That's fine. Zion probably won't even play he in the He won't play in the All-Star game. game. He can play this year. He's gonna be his first, is this his first All-Star game? No, didn't he make it the All-Star that year? He, he made it last year? No, he didn't I'm play saying. last year. Oh, the two years before, right? Yeah. Oh, he did play in those games. Yeah. Nah, bro. I'm giving... Actually, he might not have played in that All-Star game. I don't That's remember. what I'm trying to think. I don't remember him playing in the All-Star game before. I, I'm he sure, like I'm sure he would have had like some... He was like 27 I'm sure he would have had some like seven. crazy highlight. I don't remember. No, yeah, he played By the in way, the, they need to the, scratch Oh, speaking uh, of crazy highlight. The jaw dunk? T- Jesus Christ. What? Oh, oh, that was nasty. Goodness. That was ridiculous. I've never seen a tomahawk like that. That was gross. But yeah... Somebody's you know, already starting a narrative, and I don't like it. What? That Ja Morant. I mean, or if he continues at this pace in terms of, like, in-game dunks, yeah. he, might, he might overtake Vin Sanity. In yes. terms oh, that's of crazy. No. Get out of here. Yes. If he continues at this pace. Yes. He might not make it at this pace. That no shade. True. He has better posterizers. I will say that. He dunked over a no, person. He no, he doesn't. What? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. It, it, well, in it's game, a, it, I mean, it's cool that he's dunking on people that are just standing under the basket, and like to ready to take a charge. He, it's nobody's really challenging him. Vince I Carter, just, I just no, want to say, Vince no, Carter played no, in an era. Doesn't happen like that. Vince Carter played in an era where like people were like actually trying to block the ball, and they were gonna lay your ass on the floor. And he dunked, like he dunked over Alonzo Morning like nasty. I'm not sitting here that he he fucking it doesn't have the greatest poster of all time. It's in that USA game. He dunked over. A person. I am aware of I'm that. I'm not giving it to but John Morant. But all John Morant's dunks nowadays are posters. I mean, I honestly, I can make an argument. I can make an argument like Derrick Rose, when he was healthy, his dunks were just as good. 
You guys are forgetting that. But this is we're talking about. He said career. But he said for the rest of his career. I don't think he'll make it that far personally. Someone someone tweeted that he needs to go to the dunk contest. He's not going they to. They need to end things. the dunk contest. Why? How dare you? Oh, you want to see Matt McClung in the um, dunk contest? America's pastime. The dunk what? contest. That's it was not, a joke. Oh, okay. Relax. Like, you know America don't like. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that crap. You want to watch the three-point contest over the dunk contest? Skills challenge is better. There was, there was a time where the dunk contest was on the skill, fire. The dunk Bro, contest this, has The a, skills challenge where all of the bigs are winning because no, the no, 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 no. I'm talking layoffs? about the old school one. I ain't oh. talking about that trash. I don't know what, they, I don't know what we're going to. Fundamentals. You they see, need they don't, the, they don't look, the fundamentals look, no more. Honestly, some of these games. All right, look. Okay. The skills challenge. I don't need to see it anymore. It used to I be don't. good, but that's because they, they started. They, they, they OD'd it. They OD'd the, it. Uh, honestly, the other one, what's the, the, the Rising Stars game? Don't care for it. Kind of a little bit more interesting because they did the tournament kind of thing, but I don't really care for it. I don't need it. Never watched I it. I like that one last year. And now they're adding another one. Or they unless are? it's the same thing. They're having the a G League all star. Yeah. It's, oh. it's during All Star weekend? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, who's I'm, it's usually weekend. always been. I think it's usually always been All Star weekend. They just never televised it. Isn't it on NBA TV usually? I've yeah. seen it on NBA TV. Yeah. What are you going to say, Khalil? I know what they should do, but they're not going to do it because they're afraid of uh, basketball players' prides. But they need, they need to bust down some one-on-ones. That's what I, I mean. agree. That's what I, I mean. Agree. They should be I like need, the king of the court. You know I what I need? I agree. Need? No, no, no. I, it doesn't need to be king of the court. I need, I need to make this like a season-long thing, all right? You have beginning of the season, all right? You, as a player, you could put your name That's in, say, like like, pool. in, you in the pool, in all right? Yeah. Then you have the fans vote. 16 players, okay? 16 players get to go. Or, you know, if it just happens to be that only 16 want to do it, whatever, figure it out. But 16 players, all right? Then you, then you can have the fans vote, all right, for the bracket, all right? Then, yeah, run it. Games to, we'll go with games to 20? five. No, oh, that's no. too long. Whoa. No, Not oh, no. Like 11. Five or seven. Oh. Seven. Seven. Ah, seven can happen. But are you doing make a ticket? So. No, you play defense, bitch. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm thinking. No, I like making take it better. No, no, no. I do. no. This is basketball, you, you play gotta, defense, fool. No, you gotta stop somebody. Come on, now. You can't. You can't. I'm not gonna just give you the ball no, back. No, because if KD into the tournament, he's just shooting over everybody. Nah, nah. He's not gonna make every nah, shot. Nah, I need to see how. Yeah, when K well, when, when KD matches up against Chris Paul, short ass, get out of here. No, you know Chris Paul. Chris Paul gonna hit him with the elbow though. He gonna look. When you try to go off the little. I need. Stick. I need to see that. You know what? We can maybe we don't even have the fans like do the matchups. Maybe we have like the players just like you know, have some beef, I, I like in season. It, it could be like a storyline. I think we should do a lottery style like that. I just like you pick a number, put that shit in a fucking cage, spin it, and whatever. That'd be match cool. Up, get your ass I'm out. That'd be Ryan interesting. Rumble. I'm thinking that'd be interesting. Single elimination, first to eleven. We could just run it like that, just one on ones. Well, why don't why do we do it like park style? You have like some some like some like a uh, maybe the host of All Star Weekend or something like that. Go out there and just pick. Just, Oh, okay. Like at the park? Yeah. yeah. Or, or, like the or, or old man at the park? Like Dr. J. Out, Imagine like or, Dr. J out here like you. You two. Run it. Or you could, what you could do is um, the players who, do, who decide to enter in on the one-on-ones, have them all just sitting on the bench and just roll the ball out there and see who goes out there to go play. Ooh. Katie yeah, goes out there and see, there's the so ball. many different ways we can. Be like, yeah, let's go. There's so many different ways we can. And then you know what? The other thing, too, I, I would like to see some threes. Do a one-on-ones and threes. Do, three on three. Oh, three on three. Oh, okay. Oh, like big three. Okay. We run. We run ones. We run threes. We don't need. We we don't need. I think. Else. I think the three on three is probably more realistic than the one on ones. Them dudes ain't doing no one on ones. No, that's probably like branding issues and nah, that no. They reasons. actually want to do that. That pride's ridiculous. They, I, they won't I let think it they'll happen, do. Though, no, I think it'll be like the guys. Everybody want to do it at first, and then when people start losing, and then somebody's like, "Yeah, you know, your sneakers ain't selling that well because you know Kyrie bust your ass. Kyrie would bust." A bunch See, of people. See, that, that would be. That's why I would like. Cause then, then we could have like have like a Robbie defend your crown. Could be a storyline. We yeah, could actually so do what, this. But what's gonna happen when like? What are we WWE wrestlers? Why like else are you watching All Star Weekend? They already took the best event out. The best event was the Shooting Stars. Yeah, it kind of was. That was fun. that yeah, was the that best was event. Fun. That was fun. That the three time defending champion Chris, Chris Bosh. That's right. But what happened? But you know, what it can't the, work. What though. was the woman on his team? Um, was it Cheryl? I think I it don't was. Remember? I think it was, but she she was busting ass too in that. Um, him like was it him and like Zoe? No, 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 no. no. He had, he had, no. Like, Who did he have? No, it was he a Heat like, player. He had who was it? Tim Hardaway? No, it no, it wasn't. Did he Tim have uh, Steve Smith one year? I swear it was Zoe. At least um, one year. I still like the dunk contest though. 
It, it'll, it'll, it'll make or break the all The dunk weekend. contest is so trash that they had to pull Matt McClung out of the G League. He's not even in the NBA. Wait, did they announce it already? Yes, yeah, Matt McClung is, is a part it's of Matt it. McClung, yeah. um, the, that dude that plays for the, ba- the Blazers. The Blazers is nice, rookie. I don't know. Can get up. It was it was um, Swim Cash and Dominique. Three years That's right. He had yeah. Nick. There it is. But Steve Smith did win one year with Al Horford. Interesting enough. Wolf. Landry Fields won one year. Isn't he like the assistant GM of the, the Hawks? I think so. Who, Landry Fields? Yeah. Yes, he is. Actually, wait. He's the general manager. Of the Hawks? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, he might get fired. Yo, yeah. I, <laughs> would you believe in 2005, one of the most Aki shooting... your pardon? Aki, you know, like weird <laughs> shooting shots. I've heard that word. Shot, yeah. uh, you know. The Aki way. Aki, yeah. Uh, <laughs> shots releases in the history of basketball. Rashawn Lewis. Shoot. No. How is it Sean not Marion? Yep. Ding, ding, ding. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, his shot is kind of just like... He yeah, was kind of a quick what is that release, called? though. It was kind of like... What is that called? Granny style? Yeah, I guess. But I know there was like a different term. But he kind of just does it like, like that. That's you know it. what it reminds me of? You know, Joaquin like, Noah? Oh, no. That shit's trash. You ever remember in like... You know in football where they have like the little... When the football goes out the... The no. jug machine? The jugs. Oh, yeah. That's what kind of reminds me of. <laughs> it just kind of just, just goes yeah. off. Yeah. It's pretty good. But yeah, they should bring that back, man. I'm not, I'm not really happy about this. I don't. At this, least the All Star, the All Star game in recent years, at least been the three point contest good, is pretty, like the best thing now. Uh, has been pretty. Yeah, I don't decent. care for it anymore. No, I'm for the All Star game, I, I'm over oh, the three point contest. contest. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Started of watching Steph Curry win. Mm. Uh, you, you're shooting. No. What's exciting it's about just that? Not that exciting. Yeah, it's really not. I'm so sad. We used to enjoy All Star. It used to be like a Saturday night. Used to be my favorite night. I haven't watched All Star Weekend in like three years. Didn't you guys come over my house at one time and we watched mm. Derek Jones win the dunk contest? That was like 2020, before COVID. So that was two years ago. Three no, years. Three. no, technically three, three years yeah. now. Yeah. I don't think we're doing that this year. So no. <laughs> uh, what would you rather watch now? The Royal Rumble or All Star Weekend? <laughs> Royal Rumble. Still, unless, unless you know, last like year was kind of Roman Reigns again, or the Shane McMahon tribute. You know, they said uh, he got paid like eight hundred thousand dollars for that uh, Royal Rumble appearance. That's part of the reason why the wrestlers in the backstage wasn't too happy. That, or the fact that he turned himself into like a main eventer and took out like half the roster. That too. That was pretty disgusting. Damn. That was. That was <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, is anybody, any of my Heat fans, interested in the uh, the uh, John Collins sweepstakes? Because it seems like they're really, literally hell no, no. Okay, I'm looking for big things. You like, know, you know who I want. Today is like, January fifteenth. You know that want. means I don't I have. Who, we can get rid Pascal of Dwayne Dead. Pascal Siakam, go sorry ass. What? Okay, All, NBA. All right, you know what? You know what? I was going to save this for our Wednesday show, Robert, but I guess we're doing this right now. The number one person on the Heat's board should be Pascal Siakam. Oh, there is not a single person in the NBA that the Heat should trade for more outside of like LeBron a Kevin James. Durant or somebody like that. Um, somebody. Let it go, man. Let it go. Wait, what? 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 About what LeBron James? Don't do that. Back here. He's, he's, he's not coming back here. But, um, he can't get along. The, there is only. He doesn't need to. He likes to run his They own need show. to get along with him. That ain't happening. <laughs> it's Pat Riley country, baby. Get out of here. I am not. There is only one person that the Heat should trade for. It's Pascal Siakam. That's it. Your inconsistency. You haven't watched basketball this year, then. Yeah, absolutely right. He had like a fifty-point game. He's literally. He's he's literally. He's okay. Pr- him and the rest of the league. Like, who hasn't had a fifty-point game? Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? <Monkey. laughs> that Monkey. was probably not your best <laughs> argument. <laughs> You're really killing me over here, buddy. Uh, well, no, because he's acting he, like, like some regular, like, he averaged, like, 18 or something. He's trying to sell me on Pascal for the last, like, four years, dude. I don't, yeah, I don't care. I'm sorry. So, but you want John Collins? I didn't say I wanted John Collins. I said, is anybody interested in the John Collins? Would you Collins be interested in John Collins? No. I was asking. I never said, oh, I want John Collins. Who are you interested in besides LeBron James? That ain't happening. Damn. LeBron James. Bronny? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> Pascal Siakam would probably make well, the you, heat. You know he what he said? Probably make the heat the uh, the, fav- the favorite. You know what he said, by the way, LeBron, that he wants to play with this kid. So we draft. I'm Ronnie. not drafting him. LeBron, I already drafted one bus. Shabazz Napier, high fives. 
No, 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 Shabazz. <laughs> LeBron James clearly cannot be trusted when it comes to draft evaluation. Uh, so. Pascal Siakam this season, 25.7 points per game. That's good for 15th in the league. 8.2 rebounds a game and 6.4 .4 assists per game. With playing 33 games. Congratulations. I was just giving the stats. I was just helping. I was just and I'm congratulating him. You know who I did suggest, though, that they should church for possibly? Who? I don't think they would do it. I don't know if it makes sense. I don't know if it fully makes sense. Hmm. So if they traded Lowry for Chris Paul, I think that'd be interesting. All right, we're just doing the Wednesday show now, apparently. <laughs> okay. All right. Just save it for the Wednesday show, because what are we at? It's short anyways. It's 46 minutes. So you in. are willing to finally give up on, on the Kyle Lowry experience? They, Kyle they, Lowry they gave up on him. the Kyle Lowry experience. What are they, 7-1 without him? 7-1. They don't, seven and they one. don't seven use and him. 7-1 now. What's yeah. the point? They don't use him at, like... They don't use him, because he... He's he about to be street close 2.0. He's not bad. Okay, I guarantee he'll go to another team. He won't look this bad. I guarantee you. That's fine. Is Kyle Lowry and Byron Jones the same player? No, not at no. all. Kyle actually plays. I would rather well, Kyle Lowry would not you rather, play. Would you rather somebody play poorly <laughs> when they're there or just not play at all? I mean, nah, I'd rather have Kyle Lowry. At least, at least once in a while when like somebody's out, he'll have like a good game. When they like he has the ball the majority of the game. Byron Jones, Jesus, come on, man. Might have won this game get if on you the played field the whole season. Jesus. The whole fucking season you can get on. You know I got to stop cursing. You can't curse anymore on YouTube. But Why? You tell, they, they demonetize oh, yeah, they you. Demonetize. So if you're trying to make money, you can't. Yeah. You'll never have a chance. Uh, uh, but yeah, come on, Byron Jones. You suck. That's because I can't curse. Boom. They demonetize you for cursing? Uh, you've been yeah. bleeped. But you bleep it, though. You're good to go. Yeah, but F you, Byron Jones. Well, the way Brandon was slanging words last week. I low key think the censoring made that video better. I'm just saying. It did. But the likes came on your story time, Kalu. They did. They loved you. Yeah. What they loved you. Man? I'm just I'm very an entertainer. I do it for the people. <laughs> oh. I'm just very disappointed I couldn't play the song. You know what I think it was though? Hold on. <laughs> no disrespect. No disrespect. You think I you that that I think that clip was better because of like the belt sounds and all that stuff. It was better. But when you posted it. The top thing was war crimes. Like, <laughs> no, there is no, there is no background information. I, they thought we were probably being like com political or something, and it was just war crimes. <laughs> I think that's they're what waiting, it was. Waiting to see Putin. Huh? Could be. <laughs> yeah. Um. Is What's that it? the show? Yeah, they love you. They I'm love you though, man. The sugar mamas of TikTok. They're here for you, buddy. If they actually have money, I, look, I, I run a tight ship over here. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> If it ain't six figures going about your business, shorty. What are you, what are you, sweetie? I think a solid 75 thou would do it. You gotta it. bring a bag, huh? A solid 75 thou would do it. Are you wait, kidding wait, me? Wait. I gotta pay for my school and I want a new car. Go on about your business. Are you trying to say you're the prize? I, I've always been. Come on, bro. Come on, man. You know what time it is. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so you heard my dog hit him up. Nine, five, no. <laughs> wait, what my man's one said to all the ladies out there? We see how you do that one of those. What? Oh, what was it? Oh, was it uh? Yeah. Oh no, I'm not doing that. By the way, there is a reality show now where you can go on and like date like cougars. Oh yeah, that's there right. There is yeah. Milf Island. Milf Island. Yeah, we can, we can yeah. sign you, we can we sign can you up. Sign you up. No, 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 no. Ain't that the show where there was some of some of them uh, their sons was on the island too or some weird shit like that? Oh, I, I didn't hear about that. that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The backtracker, real quick. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, I mean, I'll that. still sign you up <laughs> if you want. I don't want to go on the island with the white women. I'm cool. You sure? Not all of them are white. They're not all white. No, there was a, there was one, right? One. Yeah. All you need is one, like Ray J say. Cool. Final <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's plug his Instagram. Is it still Carcade Khalil? Hit him up. No. That Where have you been the for the last eight been? years? I don't know. He don't use Instagram. How am I supposed to know? He posts on Instagram every day. Uh, his story? Yeah. I count that. I don't count. I, I'll, I'll be honest, honest with you. Yeah, that, 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 that That's like the new thing That's now. him being alive. When I know that he's... Oh, wait. It's, it's like Khalil in some like number. Yeah. Uh, is, it, like is it 98226? I thought it was started with a six. Six eight nine. I just two. looked this up. Why y'all phones is like right there? What's well, up? Trying to put my shit out here. I already got a. I'm trying to help you. Uh, bot white women following me on fucking uh Instagram for some strange reason. I don't. Have me time too. For this. Okay, me yeah, too. They trying to get no at more. you, dog. Nah. Yeah. The cougars of Instagram. Bots. 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 <laughs> um. Fuck was I gonna say? Bots need love too. Um. <laughs> yeah, they do that in Japan. Um, oh, <laughs> come on. 
That's China anyway. I ain't really Japan. No, nah, it's it's a more of a Japan thing. It's a Japan thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Even yeah. China's still indoors, they can't really go outside, so literally. Um mm. it be me. Dolphins. I'm not even mad. Honestly, I'm not even mad. Because I feel like if Tua was I don't want to do the if Tua was healthy thing, but he would have saw he would have saw Tyreek on that fourth down play. And I think we'd be having a different I know, conversation. I know Teddy Bridgewater might win that game. Yeah, that is also true. Um, so I mean, injuries kind of. But you lashed him out of here. You do, you just, don't, can't do the can't do the time. Don't do the crime, buddy. That's I mean, all I got. <laughs> but respect to Skylar, a uh, Skylar Thompson for actually like finishing the game because I don't know if Teddy Bridgewater would have finished that game because he took a couple of big hits. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. And like I said before, I ain't scared of the Bills. They are who I thought they were. All right. And we love them off the hook. Basically. Right. Although, I don't know. I mean, how y'all feel about that, that first down call? You Fourth sure. down? That, no. Well, the, they the, called the, it first down, but. For, first I, down uh, they gave. I, thought, I mean, look, I thought he was I'm short. not going to lie. I'm more, I'm more disappointed in the defense. They just let that man. It's like Devin Singletary. Like, that was, they made that man look like Derrick Henry. I, that was disgusting. I mean, I agree on that, but they. I, I thought he they was got, short. I still thought they got to stop, though. I mean, I but think, even then, honestly, like, in my opinion, if it was like 40 inches, they would just part. Probably QB sneak it with QB Josh Allen. I, I agree with that, but they have to do it, though. That's true. Yeah, he he has fumbled some snaps. I don't know. The effort, the effort wasn't there. So once once the effort wasn't there, I was kind of like, fuck you. I don't know. I was disappointed. I kind of felt like the fix might have been in at that point. But the fix, dog. That that it was short. It was like a I thought every, everybody in their mom saw that that was short. I, I don't see it was short. What's really funny is argument. the referee who was like had the clearest view of the ball was dead on. They let the dude come in. Remember we used to do the homeboy. Uh, yeah, just, coming in from like left field yeah, out there. Coming in, you were like this. Coming in from left. field. First yeah, down. they marked him short, here. and then here comes football. the guy from like a fucking from the nosebleeds coming down. Oh no, 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 no! I'm like, come on, man! I don't know. I didn't like it to be honest with you. Um, but I don't think the season was a failure. I just think we got to stay healthy. Um, get some depth. Get some depth. Uh, Mike McDonald has to. He needs the clock management needs to be better. Maybe go hire homeboy um, from the Broncos. No, well, that from, that guy's already going to the charge. Mike McDaniel. <laughs> From what Mike McDaniel said, though, he said that in his headset he was told that it was a first down, and that yeah, it was that's a what down. that's what Brandon so, said. So, you know, who knows what could have happened there if you know. What about the other plays when he couldn't get the ball, couldn't get them lined up? I understand that, but when the like the most important fourth down for us, if you fuck that one up, then the rest of the shit doesn't matter. Honestly, I just want all my timeouts next year, like in the second half. That's all I ask. I agree. For. I agree. First but half, first, he can do what he wants. I don't. First first year head coach, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. I actually think there's a lot more upside coming up next year. So I was upset when we first initially lost, but I think uh I think we'll be okay. Are so. you keeping X? Did you just ready to like trade him? Uh I think I'm still ready to let X go. Well, you can't Sometimes you just kinda just, you know, just gotta just let him walk. Well, let a can't. lion dog lie, as Chris Bosch well, once said. Wow. Well you can't contract so you're stuck with him and I think Emmanuel Agba and a couple of dudes. No, you get rid of Agba. No, I thought he, I thought, no, nope. I saw his cap hit. Nope. You, you see his cap him. hit? You could trade him. No, he still has a cap hit, though. You see his cap hit? It's, that's one of the ways the Dolphins get to $70 million is if they trade, trade Ogba. But nobody's, who's going to take him? Mm. I'll take him. There you go. You trade him with the Eagles. You, you, you wanna, serious? You, As a backup? As a backup? Do you know how much money he you costs? You want to pay $11 million for a backup oh, defensive I'm, end? No, never mind. Then. I don't know how much Who cap almost was. gets to the quarterback? As a backup? A backup. Yeah, we without the cap up, without the cap hit. The cap up. <laughs> uh, um, but I think that's all I got. Fight the power as always. Brandon? Um, I heard Josh Gaddis wasn't on campus today, so that's oh kind of nice. Let it go. Oh my God! Cormani went hey, to the what? Oh, uh, the Cormani went to Colorado. He visited Colorado. Cormani's yo, going to Colorado. He's out here, yo, yo. That that shit's funny. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, he posted yesterday. Uh, I think it was on his, his, his story or something. That y'all, he's like y'all, y'all trim, and with the little location that he's mm-hmm. in Miami, and so like all of Miami Twitter started like posting like, yeah, I'm on the moon, y'all trim. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. Actually, I meant to ask you that. What's 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 the Jalen Rashada situation? What's happening there? Did he make? He didn't make. He did not Africa, enroll yeah. in Florida. In Florida, yeah. Um. Uh. There was a report that he um requested out of his NIL as a national letter of intent. Um, from Florida because of his NIL. Because of his NIL, and oh. um, 
he, I forgot who was the reporter that reported it. I think it was somebody from On3. Uh, but he, uh, he like, DM'd that person and said, where y'all get that information from? And then, like, that was on, like, Wednesday, I think. And their deadline to enroll was Friday, and he did not enroll. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of, I don't know, there's a lot out there. Supposedly, uh, they offered him $13 million. Uh, some people are saying that um, that number, uh, I heard a couple of dudes say, like, no, that number is, like, not it. But, like, a lot of, like, national dudes mm-hmm. have heard that number. It's just, like, nobody's, like, confirmed it. Mm-hmm. Um supposedly possibly there was another story about i think on three also wrote this story or it was the athletic it was one of them supposedly the the gators might be an N- nli investigation might be coming from the nca the ncaa damn i thought miami would be the first one to get hit well my well so here's the difference miami, miami actually yeah. does it Texas A&M? no no, see the problem. When, uh, the problem that the Gators have is they so they use like a collective format. Mm-hmm. So basically, like it's like a fundraiser, I mm-hmm. guess, kind of like your school team, like in high school, and they use that money to you know pay the players, but they don't they don't actually like do anything. So like just, so, Miami. So instead of handing out like endorse, endorsement deals, they're handing out legitimate money. So like you're technically per, like you are technically like the the Gators Collective. Yeah. Um, is hiring you to use you as your name, in, image, and likeness, but like they're not a company. They don't yeah, do exactly. anything. So they're basically yeah. just signing. So they're basically it's, handing, to like, it's they're a cover. Money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Pretty much football contract. Yeah. No yeah. Actual, it's yeah. essentially honestly, it's low key. In a way, you can kind of think of it as like money laundering. It's basically just a front. That is kind it of is. true. Yeah. Um, but not that they're m- laundering money. That that's not what they're doing. But uh, the Gator Collective and the other schools that use a collective as a format for NIL, it's basically a front to just like, yeah, this is the company we're using, and they do it legally. Like they make Gators Collective or whatever name of it, make it a company and all that stuff, and they pay them. And but Miami doesn't have that issue because the dude who's basically like the face of their nil uh ruiz and life wallet like that's an actual company he actually has them do come nothing has uh i guess been confirmed you could say but um i'd be interested to see how it plays out because if he does open up his recruitment um he doesn't really i'm not sure where he would go oh because he kind of he kind of ruined i don't want to say ruined his value but it's kind of a bad look he's kind of flipping well, would this, wouldn't this be the part third, of it, ha- the third or the fourth time? At well, this you'd kind of have to see what the story is. Like, if it is indeed something where the Gators promised him something, mm-hmm. you know, that whatever the number is, it doesn't really matter. But if they said, "Hey, like you're gonna get this amount of money," and and they they did either back out or they're they're trying to no, oh, well, how about we structure it this way? Whatever, trying to do something like that. I don't think you could. I don't know if that'll necessarily look bad on the kid. Mm-hmm. But you have to you have to be the the problem with him is that a lot of the at least the the programs that suit a kid of his talent they all have quarterback. Oh, okay. Georgia has a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Miami has a quarterback. I about him, I don't give a fuck about him. LSU got their quarterback. I want Dylan Riley. Oregon baby. got their quarterback. Ohio State got their quarterback. Ohio State. Yeah. By the way, CJ Stroud is still not declared. Yeah, he is still tomorrow. He has tomorrow on a deadline. Why would yeah. he not declare? I don't know, but he hasn't yet. What do you, what do you want to come back for? Run it back. They, do they were one point away from winning a national championship. They were one field goal away from winning a national hey, championship. He might be the, be the second pick. He in the pro- draft. They, they yeah, are, he'll probably be no, the they, second pick in the draft. They were, ta- sure. they were talking. They were talking about him getting a. a they were scrambling money to him getting probably one of the biggest NIL deals of all time. Is all right. that, is that oh, what we're gonna happen now? Like dudes are gonna stay another year to get more money than go to the NFL. Honestly, if what? he goes next year, if he wins, I'd, he could win Heisman, Natty next year, and go, and he'll be the first round pick, and then he'll get more money. It's and also, I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing because last year we were complaining about players picking up and leaving after one year or as soon as they possibly could. So yeah. I'm not mad, especially in the quarterback position, staying and getting more experience isn't necessarily a bad. He thing. stays. They're winning the Natty next year. Calling it now. No, they won't. Okay. I'm calling it now. Oh, okay. Ryan Day still be calling. I don't give a shit there. who's there. <laughs> calling it now. DB Cooper, bum ass. Oh, sorry. That game's in Ohio State next year. Oh no, it was in Ohio. 
No. Does it really matter? They lost in Ohio in State. Last, Does last it really matter? Can he at least beat them first before you start giving them championships? I don't give a shit. I'm calling it now. If he stays. He hasn't won a Big Ten championship. If he stays, they're winning. I, don't, I didn't say Big Ten. I said Natty. The Big Ten first. is not the SEC. you got to win the they're Big Ten to get in. The, we just saw two Big Ten teams. That was an anomaly. That didn't happen oh, because it was a different season this season, like you said last Friday? Exactly. If you it was don't, a different season. If you two think... Two lost Alabama, Alabama is like... It's, just, it's uh, crazy. It never Infinity fucking... It never understood. If, if you think... LSU, wait, that ain't happening in LSU. Line. If you, yeah, by the way, what Kang well, just died? Well, wait, just hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. They are absolutely not winning the national championship next year because you play a bunch of Teletubbies on your schedule That's next year. That's not my fault. That schedule is ridiculous. That's not uh, my fault. Did you fault. see their yeah. the, Dude, the heart, no cap. Do you want to hear the it? toughest game? The toughest game they play might be Kentucky. No shot. No, it's Tennessee. We played Tennessee without with with, J- with friggin' J- yeah, Joe who's Milton. Your, who's your quarterback? That man can't throw. That Get out of here. That guy's a five star dual threat. Like fifteen years ago. Get out of here. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me see it real quick. That's not my fault though. We scheduled Oklahoma. We did before he got fired. Before he left. We scheduled. Oh, I'm, we not, were, I'm not blaming it's not you. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. We did it. We did what we were supposed I'm just, to do. I'm just saying, you know what that schedule looks like? Well, let him read you the schedule. That's an ACC coastal schedule, buddy. Uh, Get out of here. <laughs> do you want to hear it? Yeah. UT Martin. Excuse me? That's, yeah, yep. Tough, tough. Next. Ball State. Oh, Ball oh, so Hard University. That's a tough one. Bad. UAB. Well, I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> those, those, those four games, all at home. So we start off the season at home. All four games. Oh, so four and they'll start. Okay. At Auburn, Kentucky at home, at Vanderbilt, the bye week. Oh, well, but Vandy. Vandy's coming. That game's in Vandy. In Vandy. That yeah, game's yeah, in Vandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SEC Auburn, favorites. Auburn Road game, though. Um, bye week, and then Florida, which is a neutral site in Jacksonville. And then Missouri. Ole Miss. Mizzou. Lane Kiffin might, get, might cause some problems. With that's his your, with his thirty fifth ranked game. recruiting that, class, that's your <laughs> get out of here. At, that game that game's in that game's in Georgia, and then at Tennessee, and then at Georgia Tech. I'm not gonna so hold you. The table. I'm not running that's the table. Okay. So the three I'm, feet is what I'm hearing. I'm not gonna hold you. I got two things on this schedule. All right, number one, the first thing about this schedule, okay. I might say Florida might be your toughest game, but their quarterback is Graham Mertz, so that's a dub. Number two, if y'all lose a game. If y'all win a game by anything less than 10 points, y'all should automatically be disqualified <laughs> from any championship oh, game. How the fuck does that That's make ridiculous. Sense? Wait, when did they make the schedules? They made them years in advance. Yeah, yeah they, they make them years in advance. Okay. So, like, so Georgia, Georgia's, at, but... Georgia's at a conference schedule was actually, like, fantastic. Like, we scheduled Ohio State. We scheduled Oklahoma. We scheduled Clemson. We scheduled a Pac-12 team as well. I forgot who it was. But you have to do it so far in advance because all these other teams are scheduling out of conference schedules. So we scheduled Oklahoma seven years ago. Yeah. Seven years ago, we scheduled Oklahoma for this season. Yeah, Miami has their out of conference schedule like all the way up until like 2032. God damn. Mm hmm. Yeah. They actually had somebody canceled on Miami this year. They're moving. I think it was like BYU or something. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Are you done with your final thoughts? Because that was more of a college football thing. That really was. Yeah. Are you good? I'll be good if Josh Gaddis isn't coming back. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll play by ear. Who would you right. rather have back, Josh Gaddis or um, Josh Boyer? Who would I Josh? rather have back? Ooh, yeah. Rather Josh Boyer. Have back? Yeah, Josh Boyer. You Josh- would rather have back Josh Boyer? Jo- Josh Boyer was in his bag in this game. Like he showed oh, later on, not not early on. I saw that. I saw that. The, the last Wait, what, three quarters, was he was in his bag. In the in the beginning, I'm not. I'm not trying. Yeah, to it was seventeen. Just he was in his bag like the the second the second quarter on. Yeah. Like now now my problem with Josh Gaddis, look, Josh Gaddis, you were in a good offense in Michigan, like all that stuff too. That's fine. Like you need to. I still haven't gotten answers as to why you out here with your third string quarterback and and all we're doing, like all we're doing, is quarterback power. That's it. Like you just do stuff that don't make sense. You need to get fired. Um, I can't even. I can't even give you a break for like the injuries or whatever. Like I could give Josh Boyer the break for the injuries because like he's running the same still team. Still gave he, him lashes. Look, like I said, don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that 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 don't that. 
you did the cr- you did the crime, bro. You got to do time. All right. But <laughs> I could I could look at him. I could give him the break and, and be like, look, you, you got the injuries like it worked last year or whatever, all that stuff. Fine. Like I could I can make it happen. So you bring down his lash count this week? This week? Mm-hmm. No, he ain't getting no lashes this week. He did oh, fine. Oh. So nobody's getting lashes from the Dolphins this week. Uh, Keon Crossing had some plays. No, I don't. Th- Keon Crossing was not terrible. I think everybody did okay. I, uh, I don't think anybody. I might be. A, you know what? I have one person. Oh, Quitty yeah. <laughs> could have just ended the phone. <laughs> Robert Hunt. <laughs> Robert Hunt over there. How many? How many times did I watch him get blown blown up? How many? Yeah, he, how many false start? One. How many false starts he had? I know he had at least one. He had two. How many? We'll go fifty thousand. Ten thousand per per mistake. <laughs> yeah, nasty. I couldn't believe it. Oh, uh, are you good? You're done with your final thoughts? Because I'm about to switch up the mood real quick. Unless you're gonna bring up oh, oh that situation. Yeah, yes, I'm about yeah. to switch up the mood real fast. Right, yeah. so go are you, take it. Are, are you done with your thoughts? Okay. Unless you have something else that you wanna bring up that makes me speak more. No, just this. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I wanted to give thoughts and prayers out to the family of Devin Willock and Chandler LaCroix. If you guys sit in here, Devin Willock, the redshirt sophomore of the Georgia Bulldogs, he was an offensive tackle. He got into a car accident last night, late sun- Sunday morning, like 2 a.m., I guess. Chandler LaCroix, she was a recruiting staffer uh, for the Georgia Bulldogs as well. Also want to give some prayers out um, to Tory Bowles, who is currently in the ICU. Warren McClendon. Troy Bowles? Tory Bowles. Tory. Oh. Tory. It has no recollection to any of them. Todd. No, it has no Not recollection. Not Todd's son. No. No, oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. It was does, another woman. It doesn't was he play girl. for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay. he's, he just, he got recruited. Okay. But um, Tory Bowles, who was also another recruiting staffer, that was in the car as well. She is currently in the ICU. Warren McClendon, he just announced that he's leaving to go to the draft. And then he got in this car accident last night, which unfortunately lost Devin Willock and Chandler LaCroix. So I just want to give a shout out to them or just like a quick pair for them. Hopefully everything is cool. You know, Georgia was riding high and then just came shooting low with everything that happened last Y'all night. Y'all had your parade on Saturday, didn't you? Exactly. Yeah. Did they... And, uh, was, you want to hear the worst part, bro? The worst fucking part in the world? The last tweet about him, I don't know if you guys saw it. He was at, the I guess... Kid? Yeah, he was at some restaurant and took, like, maybe five pictures with this kid that was wearing this, like, all these Georgia gear. And the mom just couldn't... Uh, couldn't stop thanking him enough for what he did and giving time to his son. Like, he's... The mom said that he talked to his son for, like, 10, 15 minutes just about Georgia football. Um, so it sucks. It really does. And I, there's nothing really else that you could say about that. Um, I actually had to sit down when I read the news this morning. Like, I sat down. Like, I stopped what I was doing, and it hit me hard. Um, I'm not going to go crazy, but I do have to do it. Monday, January 16th. 16th. Georgia Bulldogs are the national champions. Um, Oh, I but, thought you'd go two time defending. I just got to keep it. Three tone. time defending. Shut the fuck up. Oh, get, just got to keep it toned this week after the, after the loss of back to back those two beautiful people. Too, right? Because when you go undefeated this year, it'll be back to back undefeated yeah. seasons. I don't know. When was the last time that happened? Has it ever? Miami. When was the last time they lost the game? 2000, the SEC championship game of Alabama. That's Look crazy. at you now. Yeah. Must be nice. Yeah. Did y'all see Nick Saban on the set of that game? Oh, he, uh, was, he sick. was sick. He was <laughs> salty as hell. He was, he was salty. Um, you final thoughts? Uh, yeah. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Since it's the Monday, so shout out to. I was that. gonna say it, but I knew if I said it, you would have said the white man stole from me. Because I wanted what? to say it. I wanted to say it before you. I really that did. Holiday but I know is... that's like your shit. I know no, you always. No, you could have said out. it. You could have said it. No. That holiday is for everybody. That's not bullshit. He had a dream bullshit. that one day this would be able to happen. If it wasn't for him, this would not be able to happen. You might be outside with a tiki torch. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to him. Uh, and that's all I got. So the Ravens are winning, by the way. 
What did yeah. I tell you? What nine did nine I nine tell nine. you? I tried to tell you. Leading into halftime. This really is a crazy wild card weekend. Anything it's can happen. Super wild card weekend, sir. Super crazy. Hey. Super crazy. Why do I know that? <laughs> Wrestling. Well, but for who? From the fucking um TNA? No, that was w- wasn't that WWE? What was their great line? Oh, um, then they come out of lawnmowers. Yeah. <laughs> say it would be cool. We're not Mexicans. We're, we're Mexico. <laughs> what? You that, forgot about the yeah. Mexicans? It was like yeah. three of them, like three. Oh weeks no, ago. I forgot. No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry. How come you could get that off, but I couldn't say I couldn't get no, my? Because that's in off. that's that's in fucking WWE lore. That, but what I said was a fact. fact. That's in yeah, Google but, lore. But that's two different lores. One's bad, one's semi bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, back then you get away with that type of stuff. Yeah. You never seen you did see Crime Time, right? Yeah, you saw oh, Crime Time. God. How can you forget? No, that's really bad. That was really bad. But they crawled to the prime time. <laughs> yeah. Could, could walk. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's nothing worse. I just want to let you know you're fi- you're vying for what you said the last week to air. Just, just understand Kanye about what oh, you I'm said. Say, you love <laughs> fucking Kanye this podcast. Nope. I saw what uh, Alex Jones had to go through when he was up there talking, talking about Def Con. Yeah, no, no thanks. All right, that's enough. All right, this has been the uh, latest edition of Scorekeepers Podcast. We will see y'all on Friday. We out.